look this Japanese pumpkin it's a Japanese pumpkin it resembles the Japanese flag there you see the Japanese flag Look, this is, I had pumpkin soup for my breakfast. It was made with Japanese pumpkin. Now, does psychology dictate how we garden? You know, do you think the Japanese made their pumpkins to grow, selected for uh, pumpkins that look like the Japanese flag? I can't remember exactly what the Japanese flag looks like, but I recall it's red rays of the sun on a white background. This piece of pumpkin skin, well, what does it remind me of? It reminds me of the Japanese flag. That's what it reminds me of. Do you think they grew it like this subconsciously? To look like their flag? What are they called, these melons? What are these... Uh, Japanese pumpkins called. Is it kiboshi or kibosh or something? I'm not sure. Look at that. Is that the Japanese flag? Let's have a look at a pumpkin. Oh, so heavy. Here's a Japanese pumpkin. That's what it looks like. I think the stripes go more orange or red when it's fully ripe. Let's have a look at the underside. What does the Japanese flag look like? Do you remember? Oh, what does it look like, the Japanese flag? Does it look like this Japanese pumpkin? I think it might. I think it might. Wonder what Shintaro would think. Oh, it's heavy. <sighs> These pumpkins that I am using for examples, they're not completely ripe because they were grown too late. All Japanese pumpkins have got the star on the bottom, haven't they? They have. They have. Should that star be red or orange? I think the star's in the corner, isn't it? I'm not sure. I must go online and have a look. See what a Japanese flag looks like. I suspect it looks rather like a pumpkin. A Japanese pumpkin. Anyway, look at it. That's a beautiful daisy. Isn't it lovely? I thought so. Naval ensign of the Imperial Japanese Navy and the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force. Okay, that's what it looks like, isn't it? It's a variant of the Japanese flag. And I, I'm wondering if it was deliberate that Japanese pumpkins have that design on them, or is it the subconscious of the Japanese expressing itself in their horticulture, just subconsciously? You can deliberately uh, 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 cultivate a plant to have certain features. But it can also happen unconsciously. Like lots of strawberries. Lots of strawberries they grow nowadays look like the glans penis. It's just a fact if you look at them. But there we have it. The Japanese flag or a variant of the Japanese flag. And it's the same as on the Japanese pumpkin. I notice these things. 
So there you have it, the uh, Japanese flag symbol on the base of a Japanese pumpkin. Now these pumpkins, when they're fully ripe, the, those stripes should be more orange, more reddish. You could cultivate it finely to have actually red stripes if you keep cultivating for a bright red colour. That's the Japanese flag. What are these pumpkins called? I forget. I shall have to go online and look up what they're called. I've forgotten. I don't want to describe them. I might be using the wrong word. I might use a vulgar word or something to, to describe them. But this is what they look like. A facsimile, a reproduction of the Japanese flag expressed in horticulture. Very clever. Whether it was done consciously or subconsciously, it was very clever. Actually, I think there's, yes, there's a crab in Japan that has some sacred symbol on it, and the Japanese don't eat that particular crab. Bye.